I know Jimmy Butler was banged up in this game, but this still was an impressive win for the 76ers in my mind. You know, you don't usually beat teams like this. You don't win games like this with Doc Rivers as your head coach, James Harden, and Ben Simmons. With those guys, you don't win games like this, no matter how good Embiid is. But this team, the 76ers team, it feels different to me. I mean, the role players they have on this team, the depth they have on this team. Nicholas Batum, he's obviously not going to have 20 points every night. He's obviously not going to play like that. But he might play as hard every game. Yes, he's going to play hard defensively. He's going to, you know, make some shots. But 20 points, it's not a reasonable expectation out of him every night. But they have other guys, other role players. Kelly Oubre, I think he could have a 20-point night, a couple nights in a series against the Knicks. I think Buddy Heald could get it going off the bench. Campaign. You know, that three minutes he was in the game, he, he drained a nice three-pointer that changed the momentum in the game damn near. So these guys that the 76ers have, they have the right role players. Kyle Lowry, he showed up big in this game, not points wise, but just his presence defensively. You know, the first couple minutes of the game, he was everywhere. You know, he's flying around, huge effort. So that's a veteran piece they needed on this team. And he's a better, obviously, scoring option than P.J. Tucker. But having the right players on the roster this year, Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, I expect them to play better. They didn't play as well against the Miami Heat. Great defensive team. Bam Adebayo, he, he's a good defense player. I get it. Jimmy Butler was hounding. So, But Tyrese Maxey, I expect him to get things going against the Knicks. Embiid, I expect him to play like he played in the fourth quarter. 11 points in the fourth quarter. Clutch threes, an and one, 15 rebounds. He, he played really well, played better in the fourth quarter. Uh, but I think he'll get things going against the Knicks. And obviously, he's going to have to be healthier. Right now, in the game against the Heat, it didn't look like he was 100%. You know, he wasn't showing as much effort defensively, but I think the role players are going to be a huge X factor in the series for the Sixers and having Nick Nurse, huge upgrade over Doc Rivers. And I think he can, you know, coach with Thibs. That, that would be a coaching, uh, you know, chess game, I think. Um, and Nick Nurse, great coach, great adjustments in the second half. The, the 76ers were a different team in the second half. So having him as your coach, definitely going to be, you know, better prepared and a better team in some of these game these uh end game managements some of these you know sequences that are really crucial in the game so i really like the 76ers chance against the knicks i think they're gonna beat the knicks in six seven games um and after that series i mean you know i know jalen brunson's really good i know people are gonna have the knicks as a favorite but Embiid and the role players like i said this is a different 76ers team. They are going to win a series like this. It's going to be hard fought. It's going to be a battle. But Nicholas Batum, if he's in the fourth quarter, you need to. I, I think Nick Nurse needs to put Batum in the starting lineup with, with Ubre. I think those two guys need to start. Tobias needs to come off the bench because he's taking, you know, valuable minutes. You know, Batum should be getting 30 plus minutes, uh, getting Tobias Harris minutes because Tobias Harris is out there breaking four layups in a row. That, that can't happen against the Knicks. Can't happen against the Bucks either. So I think Nick Nurse is going to make those adjustments. That's personally what I would do. Ubre, Batum, Kyle Lowry, Tyrese Maxey, and Embiid. That would be my starting five. And if Melton can come back and be healthy, that would be a huge guy you need in this series against the Knicks to guard uh, Jalen Brunson. So I think the Sixers can beat the Knicks in seven games. And I think they can beat the Bucks. Who knows if the Bucks even beat the Pacers. So I think, you know, the 76ers could position themselves to make the Eastern Conference Finals. That wouldn't be really surprising to me. And this is really their year. I think this is a different year. And Bede, obviously, has got to get more conditioned, got to be um, more healthier and, you know, stay around the long run. But I think this is the year if they can get all those things, if the NBA gods can bless them everything go their way some people thought the nfc north was going to be the worst division in football this season they thought it was going to be as bad as the nfc south